Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, here today to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 7, Hands-On Science Experiment. And today we're doing an animal nature walk. So this is, you can find a good um, description of, of our experiment today in your foundations guide on page 118. And you won't need very many materials for this, but um, you could give each student like a paper bag, put their name on it um, if they want to collect anything while they're on their nature walk. And then um, either they can take down their observations in like a nature journal while you do your walk or you could do it when they come back. But for that they'll need like a pencil and um, if you want them to do it, you know, during the walk, you could get like these real cheap clipboards at the Dollar Tree. And then um, on page 128 in your foundations guide, they have an example of what a journal page looks like. And so you could do that. Just take like a blank piece of paper. Um, I made these little sheets. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. These little sheets, um, just maybe for younger classes, so they can put their name and the date and the location because as a scientist when you record um, data and your observations it's really important um, to know when and where um, you made your observations and then I have a thermometer here and so you can bring a thermometer with you on your walk maybe the tutor or one of the parents or you could use your phone um, just to record the temperature but they can color in the thermometer and then um, in this box like they can draw what's the weather like is it sunny is it cloudy it's kind of cloudy and sunny today so they could draw that and then the time so they can draw the hands on the clock of what time you made your observations what time you made your walk and so you'll just take the kids around. I'm in my backyard now, but if you have an outdoor space near your campus or you could go to a park, I think our campus might be trying to go to a park that's close by and just take the kids around and observe. You can hear there's a bird. And so they just observe. We're looking for animals and um, animals, insects, and just see what they observe. And they can make notes of that in their, on their journal page. I have a spot on here where they can draw a picture of what animals they find and what insects they find. And um, so they might want to collect things too, like if you find feathers or if you find like an exo exoskeleton of an insect, they might want to collect that. So I found a few cool things in my bag. I'll show you what I did my nature walk in my yard. I found, um, I think these are moth wings. It's just the wings though. So I thought that was pretty cool. So you can talk about when they find things, go, okay, is this uh, a vertebrate or an invertebrate? Or how would we classify um, this animal? And then I also found another wing from another insect. So like from an arthropod, which would be an invertebrate. Um, they might find other things. They might find a, a bird feather, so that would come from a vertebrate. Um, and what what are the the classifications with that? So you need to have a good discussion because we'll have learned invertebrates, invertebrates, and and the different groups. So you can have a good discussion about what you see. Um, I saw a lot of ants on my walk, and I hear some birds. So you might see squirrels. So just see what you can find and have them um, write down their observations. So I will try to post um, this page and I made a different page too for those who like options if you need more space for drawing. But I just wanted something that was all on one page and made it a little easier for my seven, eight year olds to record what they saw. So. That is CC Cycle 1, Week 7 Nature Animal Walk. So have fun with this one, guys.